Rising food prices provoked an international crisis last year. As the headlines have turned to the current financial turmoil, the plight of those existing below the poverty line remains part of the challenges facing the world leaders preparing for next month's G20 summit. These are the challenges of financial instability in a world of instant global capital flows, of environmental degradation in a world of energy shortages, of extremism and the threats it brings to security in a world of unprecedented mobility, and of growing poverty in a world of worsening inequality. And unless we can find solutions to these problems, globalization itself, the global economy, a global society will become unsustainable. Improving crop yield, ensuring efficient distribution and, a vital component, securing fair prices for the farmer form the bedrock of a stable society. Sustainable flows of trade with fair trading rules, clean banks that people can trust, more openness and better early warning systems, a decisive push towards a low carbon economy, properly resourced international institutions that can act early to deal with poverty and injustice in a crisis. And we know also that if globalization is going to be successful for the poorest of the world, we will need global institutions that are more strong, more open, and more inclusive. But to win the support of the developing world for these institutions, it is right that we must ensure for them a much bigger voice and representation. In calling for a global New Deal, the British Prime Minister provided an historical reference to another national leader who entered office in the throes of an international crisis more than 70 years ago, the US President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. A concerted fiscal stimulus is at the heart of Gordon Brown's proposal. So in the run-up to this London summit, we will work with the World Bank and our G20 partners to build support for a new fund specifically to help the world's poorest through the downturn. There was a strong moral impetus to Gordon Brown's speech. Building on his theme of the increased globalization of modern society, he called for a collective approach to solve economic problems. The challenge for us as a generation is to do what is right, to meet our moral obligations, to stand up for what we believe, even in the most testing times, to push forward with the agenda we know is not only ethically right, but is also both socially responsible and economically essential. Gordon Brown's concern to create a new plan to counter global poverty is shared by other world leaders. We're seeing a generation of leaders such as Gordon Brown, President Obama, President Zapatero in Spain, and many leaders in Africa, like Kafour of Ghana, who have led on the hunger issue. Setting out global poverty as one of the four challenges facing our world, along with extremism, the environment, and financial instability, Gordon Brown outlined not only the likely agenda for the G20 summit, but possibly for generations to come.